gaggle of whoop, Baskin Babies. So we get a better look at them. Look the glass. All the babies are doing awesome. We're not getting them nice and fat, get them well started. Uh, hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Um, today's video is me treating my two new night uh, that I got the last week of January. I got a male who I named Gitmo. Got him at the Norfolk Repticon on uh, the last Saturday in January. Um, and then I got that pretty lady. Uh, the folks I got him from, he was a rescue, thought it was a male. She's, I keep saying she, she's been doing a lot of digging. I don't see any prominent hemipenal bulges uh, that a male that size would have. So I'm thinking probably a female. But anyways, uh, they gifted that one to me uh, the Tuesday after I got Gitmo. So I don't know what their histories are. Um, I'm 99.9% .9 certain they're wild caught out of Florida. And so as a preventative, I wanna go ahead and give them Panacure. Uh, Panacure, I guess, is a, is a common name for uh, a dewormer product. It is actually phenobenadazole. Um, comes in a variety of packages, uh, I guess uh, manufacturers or whatever. So I got Safeguard that I picked up from uh, my local tractor supply. Um, this is the 2.5% variety. So um, I went ahead and went to a website called anapsid.org. It's a older website. I think they quit doing updates probably six years ago, five, six years ago. Very informative, wide variety of topics, uh, a lot of different species, um, all aspects of um, reptile and amphibian husbandry and care. Um, the, the website is still up, I just don't think they update it. So uh, I'll give a link to that. The video you're about to see actually shows, um, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, videoing my cell phone that I'm on the website on my cell phone to show the calculations and the measurements that I'm using to dose both these animals after I've weighed them. Um, it almost looks like I'm doing the same night and all, but I'm not. They both got out on me. Uh, I thought I was filming chasing Gitmo around the room, had some technical difficulties, ended up not filming it, but I did film this one getting out on me and me catching her on the rug. So they both got out on me. Uh, moral of the story is I probably need to uh, um, enlist my son to come help me or tell Jen to come help me and just get some, get some help while I'm doing it. Disclaimers. I am not a veterinarian. I am not giving anybody veterinary advice. Uh, I've done a lot of research. I've done a lot of reading. I am confident that I feel what I'm doing is safe for my animals. Don't do it. I'm not telling anybody to do it. I don't recommend that you do it. Take your animal to the vet if you think you have a problem. So that's the disclaimer. This is not veterinary advice. This is just how I'm doing it. I'm showing you and I'm showing you the resources that I use to come to the decisions that I've made on how to do it. Um, at one point in the videos, I talk about how safe that product is, that it's very hard to overdose your animals, and I'll give you a link to the Reptiles Magazine um, article that talks about that. That's where I learned that information from. Um, so, uh, I, uh, this is a precaution. These animals may or may not have worms or internal parasites. More than likely they do if they're wild caught. And I've had wild caught night and owls a long time and never did this to them never had any issues they lived long lives do you have to do this if you have an animal that's emaciated that is never putting weight on that you actually see worms in its stool then take that animal to a vet um, I, I spent a lot of TLC on these animals tender love and care and I make sure they're eating and I make sure they're hydrated they could probably live just fine with an internal gut load you know uh, internal load of parasites in their gut the way I take care of them in captivity because I make sure they're going to get enough to eat. Um, in the wild, they might not have that opportunity and it, and it may prove fatal for them. I don't know. but So, you don't have to do it. If you choose to do it, take your animal to a vet. I'm just showing you how I came about doing what I'm doing. So, I think that is about it. We'll go ahead and jump into the videos right now. Hello there. 
How you doing? You're gonna mail me, aren't you? Easy. Probably should do this with some assistance. And our photo was, what was our photo, 102, so she is 70 grams, alright, 70 grams, now I gotta figure out what the dosage is. Okay, I'm going to link to this information. It is the anapsid.org uh, um, website. I don't think it's active anymore, but a lot of great information about herpticulture. And if we can zoom in, so what I'm using is the medication that's sold in tubes for horses. It is a focus cream. Let me back up a little bit. And that gives what the dosage is. So grams in body weight times 0 0.00025 equals cc cubic centimeter per dose. A cc is the same thing as a milliliter. So once I do that calculation, so body weight of 72 grams times the 0 0.00025 equals point zero one eight. So here is a one, can't see it, this is a one milliliter syringe, and so 0 0.018 isn't even 0 0.1. It is really hard to focus, but almost right at the second hash mark. So that is the dose that I am going to give this particular night and all that's been sitting there suffering as I try to figure out my math and this camera does not want to focus at all okay so let's go ahead and load up that syringe and um, go ahead and I'll strap my GoPro back to my head and see if I can do this without getting bit and get this pretty girl I think it's a female they uh, sold to me as a male but I think it's a female get her uh, back in her enclosure I hope this is pointing down right and you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, so my syringe uh, is the kind that the plunger will come out. So basically I am just going to put a little dollop in there. And I am going to get a paper towel. And I'm going to squirt it out until it's just at that second hash mark. And there it is. So we'll wipe that off. So that is the dose. All right, pretty girl.
Mm. See, now we're having fun. That's why you should always do this with some help. Uh, let me see if I can get her without stepping on her tail. Where are you going? Take these stupid glasses off. Where are you going? No, don't go running away from me. No. I don't want to grab her hard. There we go. That's the night and holes we all know and love. And a little bit on her tip of her tongue. That's it. You gonna swallow that for me? Come on, pretty girl. Come on. There we go. No. Come on. I need you to swallow that. I don't want to see it back in your mouth. Come on. There we go. Alright. It's making its way down her tongue. Tiny, tiny dosage. Let's go ahead and get her back in the cage. And then I'm going to mist it off real good. There we go. Alright, so caught up Gitmo. Uh, Gitmo, when you subtract the 102 for the uh, weight of the container, Gitmo weighs 76 grams, so we'll have to do the same calculation. It's going to be about the exact same thing as the other one, but we'll go ahead and do that calculation and I'll show you what it is. So it's practically the same thing 0.19 as opposed to 0.18. Uh, get my ways just a tad bit more than the other night and all and so I have a different syringe I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did before just to put a little dollop in the back push it all the way till it's right at the uh, Second hash mark. I think that's fairly safe um, I'll provide you guys with a link to a reptiles magazine article that talks about how safe this drug is and how it's extremely difficult uh, to overdose. They even tried to overdose in some mice populations and they couldn't get adverse impacts from overdosing. So I'm going to go ahead and load up this syringe and uh, strap my GoPro back to my head. Hopefully that's coming in clear and uh, we'll go ahead and administer the first dose. Well, I thought I had my GoPro on. I just chased this guy around the room after him getting out of the little container and I gave him his dose and I was just talking about how beautiful he is. And I went ahead to turn the GoPro off and it started recording. So, but anyways, this guy's done. He's not happy with me, but he's a beautiful night and all. So let me uh, get some water ready, squirt all these guys down, the two that I just gave um, Madison to, so they can get a drink if necessary. Look at some little baby snapping turtles. One underneath the heater, where's the other one at? I don't know where the other one is. Oh, back over there by the filter. Awesome little gator snappers. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if anybody saw what I did and saw my reasoning and I'm, and I'm wrong and you think I could do it better, please don't hesitate to comment, let me know. Um, I'm always learning, I learn from you folks in the comments. And I, you know, if you learned something from me, awesome I, uh, you know that's the only reason i'm doing this to share how i take care of my animals but uh i hope you're having a great weekend i hope you're ready for the week to come and until next time take care